We continue with 8b. There is conflict between Godfrey Kaz and Mana when he visits him at night to adopt Epi and declares that he is Epi's biological father. Mana tells him that he had lost that right over the baby when he had refused to acknowledge it at her infancy when he had brought her at the Red House. Godfrey accuses him of greed and selfishness and of trying to block the baby from having a better life in the future. The solution is that Mana asks Epi to speak for herself and decide on what she wants. Epi thanks Godfrey for the offer of adoption, but she decides to stay with Mana. Godfrey suggests that the relationship be kept a secret. Nancy makes a beautiful dress for the wedding, for her wedding with Aaron, and Godfrey provides a beautiful reception for her wedding at the rainbow. At the same time, he also provides her with a beautiful garden. Lastly, there is conflict between Godfrey and Molly Farron because Godfrey has abandoned her and the baby. It is also because Godfrey has decided to keep their marriage a secret. Consequently, she decides to put her threat into action by taking the road on a cold winter evening to Ravelo to expose their marriage, knowing full well that all those who matter in Ravelo will be present at the New Year's Eve party that usually takes place at the Rainbow. The solution is that she falls out of exhaustion and dies because of cold near Manor's cottage. She is given a simple burial after her corpse is being prepared, is prepared by Molly Farron, and Godfrey goes there to accompany Dr. Kimball to be sure that she is actually dead. Her death frees him and makes him, gives him the leeway to get married to Nancy Lameta. Mana carefully keeps her wedding ring, which Epi uses to wed Aaron when Godfrey comes to finally expose that he is the father of Epi and the woman who had died so many years ago near Mana's cottage is no one else but his former wife, Molly Farron.